to know. Invite John Jaren. He's, he's been into this. Uh, please come in here. Yeah. He's based in the United States. He has been teaching in a couple of uh, universities. And he has been into, I have already circulated a note you know, where he's talking about you know, what is civilization. Please sit, sir. And how, do you, how does he look at civilization? And in fact, you know, he's an anti-civilization critique. And I'm happy that we have a person who has written several popular books, out to six to eight books, you know, which are being, you know, sold all over the world, which are being prescribed as uh, books in several universities across the world. I'm very happy that, you know, uh, Professor John Jaren has agreed to be with us. I also now request, you know, Guanyin Loha. He is, uh, please come. That's his pen name. That's his pen name. He's from Germany. And he speaks uh, very good Urdu. So that's uh, an advantage, I'm sure, you, know, you will interact with all of you. And, you know, we are looking for collaboration. Not that, you know, this is going to be our first meeting with these scholars. We are looking for collaboration. Maybe a couple of months from now, you know, we will enter into some kind of an MOU, Memorandum of Understanding, of, you know, trying to get in, you know, students from Germany to India, from Manu to Germany, and we're also exploring the possibility of, you know, digitizing some of our journals, you know, over there in Urdu. We have got, you know, some enormous background in that, and we are looking for further collaboration uh, with them. I also thank him for uh, coming. And then, you know, we have, you know, Vikas Sukhadeva. He's a media professional, he's a media critique, he's a media activist. And I'm sure, you no, know, please come, sir. We will. Let us also look at, you know, what kind of a perspective he will give us in terms of the, the role of the media. What kind of a role the media is playing? Is it playing at all? Uh, the kind of a role, you know, it ought to be paying. So they are going to be talking about, you know, you know, can we survive careers, professions, work, and then we'll also talk about, you know, anti-civilization. And then, you know, can we survive civilization at all? I know it is rather abstract for many of them, you know, when we talk about, you know, civilization and then, you know, careers. They have given a bit of a background. I have requested them to be very, very, you know, basic in terms of the presentation so that, you know, first, you know, conceptually, all of you will get need to get an understanding about, you know, what they mean, and from there, like, you know, what we had in the morning, we will have a lively discussion. I request uh, each one of them to make about 15 or 20 minute uh, presentation, and now it's my present uh, privilege to invite, you know, John Jern, and I think I would like to give them a bit of a background. We are among the 40 universities in this country which are funded by the federal government, the central government. And this university has been primarily established in terms of promoting Urdu language, Urdu literature, Urdu culture. It's about, you know, a 12-year-old university. But we also have several subjects in management and Hindi, English literature, education, and we are trying to diversify. Very soon, this university will also get into courses in science and technology, science and technology. And this is a national university, and we get, you know, students from all over the country. And we are doing our best, both, you know, faculty and students to see that they get as much exposure to new concepts, new ideas, new ideologies. And we are one of those people who believe firmly that, you know, universities need to have that kind of a perspective of getting exposed to different kinds of ideologies, different kinds of thinkers. In that kind of a context, I'm very happy that you've agreed to be with us, you know, this afternoon to make your presentation. With this now, I request, you know, Dr. John Jaren to make his presentation. discussion about the the very question of mediation ye ek is ye baat ek dusre ke khilaf jaati hai ki hum log naye zariye ke bare mein baat chit karte hain us zamane mein jab ki hum aapas se bhi lagatar naye naye zariyon ki zarurat mehsoos karte hain yani ki aapas mein baat chit karne ke liye hame lagatar naye auzaron ki zarurat padti hai jaise ki mobile internet 
या यानी हमारे बीच में हमेशा कोई ना कोई औजार चला आता है एक नया जरिया चला आता है और हम लोग उसके बारे में बात करेंगे आई थिंक वन ऑफ द मेन क्वेश्चन वी हैव इज द वेरी क्वेश्चन ऑफ मीडिएशन कैन वी सम हाउ गो टू एन अनमीडिएटेड वर्ल्ड फेस टू फेस वर्ल्ड अल्टीमेटली यानी ये लगातार ये बात टेक्नोलॉजी के बारे में होती है जिसमें कि हमारे बीच में हमेशा एक कोई इसमें कोई भी एहसास सबसे अहम बात यह है कि हम कोई भी एहसास करना चाहते हैं तो वो कभी फर्स्ट हैंड नहीं होता है उसके बीच में हमेशा कोई औजार चला आता है जबकि आज के ज़माने में हमें और ज़्यादा ज़रूरत है एक दूसरे से सीधा ताल्लुक लगाने ताल्लुक को हम लोग कायम करने की and we start from the uh, position that we are in uh, a crisis of uh, unprecedented nature hum log ek aise daur se se guzar rahe hain jabki jabki charo taraf tarah tarah ke tarah tarah ke hamare samne sawal khade ho rahe hain the crisis really uh, at every level and in every sphere of life zindagi ke har pehlu mein pehlu mein aur aur duniya ke har jitne bhi pehlu hote hain usme hamare samne naye naye sawal khade hote hain the crisis of the physical world is well known the environmental catastrophe that's unfolding khas kar ke sabse pehle jo jo hamare samne jo thos duniya hai jaise ki jaise ki geography geography ya जो हमारे जो उसकी आलूदगी हो रही है हमारे चारों ओर उन यानी सिर्फ इंसानी दुनिया के अलावा जो दूसरी दुनिया है चीज़ों की जींसों की और कुदरत की उसका भी लगातार उस वो ही लगातार बर्बादी की ओर बढ़ रहा है सो एम नाइन गो डाउन द लिस्ट ऑफ दफ द पार्ट ऑफ द्राइसिस ऑफ द इन्वायरमेंट मैं यानी जो हमारा जो कुदरती माहौल है वो जैसे वो जैसे बर्बाद हो रहा है उसके बारे में हम लोगों को पता है इसलिए उसके बारे में पहले बात नहीं करूंगा the other side of the coin if you will is social existence यानी हमारा जो समाजी समाजी वजूद जो है और उसमें जो सवाल खड़े हो रहे हैं मैं सबसे पहले उसके बारे में बात करूंगा and it seems quite clear as we arrive more and more in the techno culture as the sphere of our existence that it's more and more empty and desolate jaise jaise hum techno culture yani aisa daira jisme ki lagatar technology aur zyada bada kirdar ada kar rahi hai usme lagatar hum log pehle se zyada khali pan aur khokla pan mehsoos karte hain and it seems to exhibit more and more pathological expressions and that seems to be a function of development itself जो एक खास किस्म का जो हमारे वजूद से जुड़ा हुआ जो एक जो हमारा जो संकट है उसका इजहार हम देख सकते हैं कि हमारी जिंदगी में सामने आ रहा है इन अदर वर्ड्स द मोर सोसाइटी बिकम्स अ टेक्नोलॉजिकल स्फीयर द मोर डिप्राइव एंड द मोर द मोर पैथोलॉजिकल साइंस अपियर in those cultures yani jitni hi zyada technology ki da ka ki zyada mudakhalat kar rahi hai hamari zindagi mein usi hum dekh sakte hain ki usi hisab se hamari zindagi mein hamari zindagi mein khali pan badh raha hai hamari zindagi mein khokla pan badh raha hai ye in dono mein seedha 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 taluqat hai one of the most uh, extreme cases is also becoming quite chronic and i want to just talk about that one as an example khas karke jo jaise sankat sabse badhe sabse aage badhkar hamare samne aaye hain wo lagatar pehle ke muqable tezi se ho rahe hain aur zyada ho rahe hain in places like america but spreading to other countries the more they become technological we have almost daily mass shootings aise wardat jo ki america mein shuru hote hain और वैसे जो जिस जिसके पीछे टेक्नोलॉजी की का किरदार होता है वो दुनिया के दूसरे हिस्सों में फैलते हैं और उसके पीछे भी वैसे वारदात जो कि अमेरिका में होते थे वो दूसरी जगह भी होने लगे हैं 
uh, these these workplace shootings, uh, shopping mall shootings, uh, family shootings. जैसे कि काम करने की जगह पे शॉपिंग मॉल में या फिर स्कूलों में अचानक लोग गोलियां बरसाने लगते हैं. And about two weeks ago in Pune, the bus driver who's who started uh, killing people with his bus. जैसे एक दो हफ्ते पहले एक बस ड्राइवर ने पुणे में वो अंधाधुंध अपनी गाड़ी चलाता गया और शायद अठाईस लोग उसमें जख्मी हुए थे और सात आठ लोग मारे गए थे completely unexplained, completely untheorized, but what are these things telling us about society? जिसको आज तक समझाया और समझने की कोशिश नहीं की गई है कि इसके पीछे इसका थ्योरी इसकी थ्योरी क्या हो सकती है so, I'm going to read a a little bit from a from a recent essay of mine but it which is mainly about technology as one of the key parts of modern civilization main apne maine haal mein ek article likha hai main usme se kuch hissa aapko padhkar sunaunga jo ki iske bare mein hoga ki technology technology kaise hamare samaj mein is roop mein samne aa rahi hai let me keep this fairly brief मैं बहुत छोटा सा हिस्सा जो है वो पढ़ के सुनाऊंगा टेक्नोलॉजी सिविलाइजेशन इनकारनेशन इज ऑल्सो द ऑर्गेनाइजिंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ आवर लाइव ऑलवेज एडवांसिंग नेवर रिट्रीटिंग टेक्नोलॉजी और तहजीब और तमदन ये दोनों एक दूसरे से जुड़े हुए हैं और ये कभी पूरे नहीं होते हैं एंड एज सपोजली रेडिकली न्यूट्रल इन कार्ल स्मिथ्स टर्म टेक्नोलॉजी इज ऑलवेज गॉट नो वे विद एवरीथिंग और इन्हें ऐसा समझा जाता है कि टेक्नोलॉजी का सवाल एक न्यूट्रल सवाल है यानी ये पूरा सवाल इस रूप में पेश किया जाता है जैसे कि हम उसका इस्तेमाल कैसे करते हैं टेक्नोलॉजी स्टिल होप्स टू मेंटेन अ फेथ दैट इट कैन सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स इट क्रिएटेड इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस टेक्नोलॉजी हमेशा ऐसा भ्रम पैदा करती है कि वो उन मसलों का उन मसलों से हमें निजात दिलाएगी जिसको कि टेक्नोलॉजी ने ही पैदा किया है While we experience a deepening ruin everywhere, IBM proclaims insanely, "Let's build a smarter planet." और यह पागलपन बाकी जगह दिखाई पड़ता है, जैसे कि IBM अपना नारा लगाती है कि हम लोग धरती को और पहले से ज़्यादा smart कैसे बनाएं. The Earth, of course, isn't smart enough. It, we need uh, we need the technological uh, extremes. गोया धरती खुद उतनी समझदार नहीं है. हम लोग की होशियारी की उसे ज़रूरत है. The dynamic project of technology is the defining and most characteristic mark of modernity. Technology jadid zamane ki ek ka ek sabse aham aur uska uski nishan hai. The measure of the greenhouse gas effect that is warming the planet. Jaise dheere dheere sanati inqilab aage badhta gaya kadam ba kadam usi tarah se a greenhouse effect hi badhta chala gaya. But the answer is more technology not less no way to put the genie back in the bottle koi bhi is jinn ko botal mein wapas nahi dal sari ki sari technology aur usse judi hui jo uska usse juda hua jo uska this assembly lines there is no technology jaise hum metal ko nikalte hain aur fir use piglate hain aur fir use in technology exists nowhere in reality एक चमकदार साफ सुथरी और जो कि मौजूद नहीं है एंड वी सी द मैसिव हिस्टोरिक लॉस ऑफ डायरेक्ट एक्सपीरियंस एंड इमेजिनेशन दैट टेक्नोमेंटेशन एंड इट शुड मेक ऑल ऑफ अस सिट एंड थिंक एंड वेरी रेयरली यू नो वी गेट नो दिस काइंड ऑफ ए पर्सपेक्टिव यू टॉक्ट अबाउट क्राइसिस ऑफ एनवायरमेंट व्हाट इज सोसाइटी you also talked about you know whether technology is value neutral the technology has got a value and i'm sure in this part of the world you know a great deal of discussion is going on in terms of globalization and liberalization policies and its impact on culture how many many smaller cultures are getting decimated getting eliminated when we are talking about you no know, globalization we also talk about you know getting in technology and then he talked about you know how you know social media internet in fact you know for your information a latest study which has been carried out in this country they say social media has become some kind of an addiction like alcohol or cigarette that's one of the major worries in this country because more and more of them are spending you know 
their time and the social media. In the process, there is absolutely no interaction, which happened initially when television came into this world. There was no interaction with him. Today, we landed up in a situation that some of the homes have got four television sets because of the number of channels you know, we have. In addition to that, now we have social media, where you know, there is no interaction within the family uh, situation. And I'm also very, very happy that you have raised you know, the issue about you know, what is this technological development? Is it, is it anti-development? That's the theory he's talking about. In the name of technology, are we talking about you know, destroying cultures, destroying society, and anti-development? And I think it's a very provocative presentation, and it should make uh, all of us think, you know. We are landed, landed up with a situation in this country when you're talking about you know, expansion of internet and mobile. The, the tragedy is in this country we've got more mobiles than toilets. Look at, you know, the kind of situation you know, we are getting in. That we almost have about you know, 500 million mobiles in this country, but we do not even have perhaps you know, even 100 million toilets in this country. You know, is that development, you know, for the world you know, we are showing, you know, well, India is growing, and we are a world economy, we are likely to be a powerful economy, but then you know, when we look at, you know, I, I'm sure you know, the, the, the whole digital divide, which has already been there, which we've been talking about all over the world for the last 20, 25 years, which is much more, <laughs> Talker today in the in the, in the in, a, in a world like ours in India, and I'm sure you know that your lecture has been very very provocative. Are there solutions? And I'm sure there are solutions. When so. when you can look at it you know, from that kind of a theoretical framework, I'm very happy that you know you have raised you know, very significant issues, an alternate viewpoint. Normally, in colleges and universities, you know we need to raise you know this kind of a point of view. We think technology is the solution for everything, but then you know. We also have landed up in a situation that is not the solution for many of the problems we are facing in this part of the world. And there's an enormous amount of critique of globalization policies in India, in universities and colleges. How you know, globalization has been destroying with, with you know, the satellite television and other media coming into a big way.